Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Code Switch in 2020. Today we continue with our physical science, looking at Newton's law from grade 11. Today's question states the following. A box weighing 20 kg is suspended by a string. This is our box on our right hand side. So, Question number one state the following. Make a diagram of all the forces acting on the box. Meaning we must make a force diagram. Let's look at solution for A. What we need to know is how many forces are acting on our 20 kg box. First, it will be our string, which will be our tension force. This is our tension force. And again, we are having a weight. Because of our force is not moving left or right, this will be our two forces acting on our box. Then let's look at question number two. Determine the tension in the string if the box number one is stationary. If our box is stationary, it means our box is at equilibrium. It's not moving left or right or up and down. But there is no force that is acting on our right hand side or left hand side. We only have our tension and our weight. So if they say determine the tension, it means our tension will be equal to our weight. And our weight is given by mg, m which is our weight, which is which is our mass of 20 kg, g is our gravitational acceleration, which is 9,8 meters per second squared. So when you multiply 20 by 9,8, we got 196 newton. That's our tension when our force is stationary. Then to answer number, domain figure number two, determine the tension in the string if the box accelerates upward at five meters per second. So we know that when we start having acceleration, we have our resultant force. Our resultant force is given by mass multiplied by acceleration. How many forces are acting on the string? Let's say upward is positive. Let's take upwards as positive. Because direction is very important. So we as we said we have two forces, which is our tension and our weight. So meaning our resultant force will be the tension minus weight will be equal to our mass which is 20 multiplied by acceleration which is 5 meters per second so what is our tension there will be our tension minus our weight which is 196 196 will be equal to 20 multiplied by 5 20 multiplied by 5 is 100. So when we solve our tension, we transpose 196 to the right hand side. Our tension will be equal to 100 plus 196. Therefore, 100 plus 196 is 296 Newton upwards. So what does it mean? It means if our if our box starts accelerating upwards, the tension will be 196 Newton. So the last question states the following. Determine the tension in the string if the box accelerates downwards at 5 meters per second. So it means 
when it accelerates downwards, you're gonna see let's write it here. Remain figure three. We still have our resultant force. Our resultant force will be equal to mass multiplied by the acceleration. So let's say now moving we said moving up is positive, moving down is negative. So what's going to happen to our direction? So it means we said we have tension. So meaning if it's moving down, now our tension will become negative tension plus weight. Because of it's moving in an opposite direction of tension. And now it's moving in the direction of weight becomes positive. Will be equal to mass multiplied by our acceleration. Then this is the same as weight minus tension equals to mass which is 20 newton. Our acceleration which is 5. What was our weight? Our weight is 196 minus tension will be equal to 20 multiplied by 5 which is 100. So to make our tension positive we transpose it to the right hand side and transpose 100 to the left hand side. We are going to have 196 for weight minus 100 will be equal to tension. 196 meaning our tension will be equal to 196 minus 100 which is 96 newton upwards it's upwards because of it's moving in an anti-direction of the weight so let's do a recap our question stated the following a box weighing 20 kg is suspended by a string here was our box so they said make a diagram of all the forces acting on the box. We said how many forces are acting on the box. is the tension which is acting upwards and is balanced by the weight which is acting downwards. The box is not moving left or right hence we don't have any forces on our left or right hand side. Number B, determine the tension in the string if the box is stationary. So if our box is stationary, it means it's at equilibrium. Our tension will be equal to our weight. And our weight is given by mg, which is mass multiplied by the gravitational acceleration. We're given our weight, which is 20 kg. Gravitational acceleration is 9,8 meters per second. Therefore, our tension will be 20 multiplied by 9,8, which is 196 newton. Question number Second question stated, determine the tension in the string if the box accelerated upwards. Then we said let the upward direction be positive. Then we need our resultant force. All the forces acting on the box is tension, which is acting upwards, is positive, minus gravity, which is acting downwards, will be equal to mass multiplied by the acceleration. We calculated our weight, which, is, which was 196, will be equal to 20 multiplied by 5, it's 100. Therefore, we transposed 196 this side, we got 100 plus 196. Therefore, our tension was 296 newton upwards. The last question said, determine the tension in the string if the box accelerates downwards at 5 meters per second. We said, if it accelerates downwards, our tension becomes negative our weight becomes positive because of the box is going in the direction of the weight. So equals to MA. Then this is the same as weight minus tension equals to 20, which is the mass multiplied by the acceleration, which is 5. Then our weight, we calculated it to be 196 minus T equals to 20 multiplied by 5, it's 100. We transpose T to the left-hand side. To the right-hand side, it becomes positive T. 100 to the left hand side then becomes negative 100 so therefore 196 minus 100 is 96 which is equal to our tension 
going apart. So that will be all for the day. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please go to Code Switching 2020. I thank you.